When we talk about health, poor health outcomes for Indigenous peoples, one of the things we found is that colonialism, both past and in contemporary forms, continues to play a role not only in the perpetuation of health inequalities, but the lack of recognition of self-determination and a lack of culturally appropriate services to meet the needs of these distinct populations. There is much that countries in the Pan American Health Organization can do to address health inequalities, particularly for Indigenous peoples. And one of them is to ensure that the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples is implemented in their respective states, and then cost out with Indigenous peoples the inequalities that exist, and develop a holistic plan to address them. Human rights are a foundational minimum standard for all people on the earth, but they're also interdependent with other rights that we may not necessarily think of as human rights, like the right to have a safe environment. And in this ambit of climate change, we need to take a much more holistic view of what those rights are so that persons can really fully enjoy their lives in a way that is consistent with the respect with the environment.